Hey guys, welcome to Box Talk, where we talk about all the awesome stuff that happens on television. In this episode, women take steroids on Futurama, Dirty Dancers and Havana Brown perform on America's Got Talent, and Beef Patties? A base jumper's parachute doesn't open on Tosh.0, cursing out your boss while you're drunk on the workaholics, the dirtiest catch on the deadliest catch, and a guy wraps a chainsaw around his neck on a thousand ways to die. All right, guys, let's get into it. On Taj.0, we had a few really good viral videos. Starts off with these black guys standing outside. We all know he's talking about closing that battle, but he still lost the floss. Never. And his crew around the squad, he's sucking on Bob Bob. I'm going to put that shit in Google, Google Translate. Hold on. Sucking up that bag. Sucking up that bag. Sucking up that bag. Shit, Google Translate isn't what the fuck he's talking about either. But in the comments below, what the fuck are they talking about? But then some guy comes out of nowhere and just... And I'm like, what up the Pope and Tom? You suck on Bob you're sucking names! No smoking, got a couple of oven oh, Shit. <laughs> then Tosh has the. You remember that there's a clam video going around, this viral video of this clam that's live and it sticks out like a yellow tongue and starts sucking in all the salt all over the table. Tosh does a, a, a funny parody. <laughs> He has girls like have the clams and they're like licking their vaginas and shit, you know, not too good for kids, but. And then they show this naked guy who keeps getting tased by cops. <laughs> <laughs> She's like teasing me on his ass and on his like penis. He's still getting up. I don't want this guy immune to tasing. I don't know where this guy's from, but he needs to have his ball. Then we have a base jumper jumping off some cliff. His parachute doesn't open. The good thing is the guy's alive and he only broke a few bones. I mean, he probably just saw his Verizon bill. You can't blame him. I mean, that's why I'll never go skydiving. You don't have that 10% chance to live if your parachute doesn't open. It's more like negative 25%, you know? You die like midair as well when you're having a heart attack. And then Tasha's a really funny parody on like Punk where he calls it junk. And he has this like waiter hold his crotch as he's like giving everyone the food. Like Tasha had the right idea, but he was in the wrong place. I mean, I really would have loved to see this like students do that on douchebag teachers. Mr. Kalinski, um, how about uh, no homework today? Oh wait, students already do that to their teachers. At least in my high school. DGH. Dick grab high. Not a school you want to be at if you're a girl or a gay dude. Thank God he didn't do this at a prison. That would make a perfect video though. Then on the deadliest catch, I mean you thought working in Walmart was bad. Look at these guys. They have to like ride a boat in like ice cold freezing water and catch a dirty ship. You think like they'd be like, you know, like pulling out the hair, but as he's on the boat, he's actually going through like a divorce. He has like protection order against him. Bitch, I'm over here on the boat risking my life for some bread. And you call me with this shit? Not gonna get daddy down. Don't let it, man. We got a lot of crab to catch. And then this guy, like, he's like saying, it's okay, it's okay. You know, we have a lot of crabs to catch. You know, the guy's just, he's gonna lose his kids right now, for crying out loud. I mean, but I can understand what he means. Why, you know, crabs are better than kids, you know? At least with a crab, you can run away from its evil. Then on the workaholics, the guys curse out Alice Murphy, their boss, accidentally while they're drunk. They just start leaving all these like crazy voicemails. Just, you know, Blake starts going nuts. I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Get me from a distance and you get all juicy. They have to drive to the office before she gets there so they can delete the voicemail. And then they, they say they have to stay drunk throughout the episode. And then they get on the bus drunk. There's a bomb on the bus! If we go below 50 miles per hour or don't go directly to Tom America, we're all gonna explode! I wish someone would do that shit on my ride to work so I could just have the day off. And then he starts drinking gas from like a car. She that's a perfect trick to play on your friend who never wants to take you anywhere with his car. Motherfucker, remember that time you didn't want to take me to see the Dark Knight? Mm. Made me ride the light rail, motherfucker. And then on a thousand ways to die, a guy wraps a chainsaw around his neck. I mean, he's trying to show off in front of this girl and he's like throwing this chainsaw and it ends up getting wrapped around his neck. Oh my god, you wouldn't catch me even holding a fucking chainsaw to please no girl. Can imagine her Match.com profile? Ooh, girl likes guys with chainsaws. Probably not your type. Bitch likes guys with chainsaws. Well, I like girls who have sex on the first date, and? And then you see a girl who died from wheel dust. She like, these truckers, like they're all drunk and they start like revving their engines and she stands in between them. I mean, I thought that truck's gonna run her over, but it ends up being all the stones and the dirt that kill her. The stone hits her head and the skull. I mean, that's why you have to really be careful when you get, when you get drunk. Lock your room and hide your animals so you don't do no dumb shit. Driving drunk isn't as bad as hanging around with uh, drunk truck drivers, apparently. At least she didn't have to go on a trip with one of them. Probably would have died of boredom, up. a much worse death. And then we had a flasher who died from eating breast milk. I mean, then the women start beating him up. Up, and then he, but he dies from traces of peanuts that were found in the breast milk. Uh, it is a great way to avoid eating your aunt's like shitty food. On Joyce, I'm, I'm getting, I think I'm allergic to, to peanuts. Oh, they still have peanuts? Shit. 
Futurama, Leela and Amy go to space and they end up taking some butterfly nectar and it acts like steroids and the reason why they have to take steroids is because they're up in space and they end up in this in this fight like WWE and they have to fight a bunch of women so they start taking steroids to become stronger. And we had some really really funny jokes. Judging from your tank top, you love getting hooted at by hillbillies. And you could use the $50 for another gallon of Hello Kitty perfume. I always wondered why men love to see women kiss each other, I, I mean fight each other. Later on they begin making out with Fry because he has butterfly fly pheromones all over his body. Where can we buy this stuff? You can, it's just called having a lot of money. In this episode, Leela and Amy keep like taking digs at each other. Love your boots, Leela. Nobody would ever guess they're knockoffs. I don't know why girls gossip about each other all the damn time. Just cool out, ladies. Then on America's Got Talent, we saw this thing, this crossdresser called uh, Old Beef Patty performs and sings and dances and I don't know, he or she, I don't know. I'm sorry, I know I'm supposed to be politically correct, but whatever the fuck you want to call that shit. I think people were just complaining like, listen, we have five-year-olds watching your fucking show and this thing called all beef patty perform not a patty i'd like to eat unless we chop it up and feed it to your cat that's fine and then jacob williams this awkward comedian he moves on i eat at a lot of restaurants by myself surprise awkward is the new cool these days geeky clothes dorky glasses too bad that wasn't around when i was younger havana brown performed on america's got talent you know the one who sings that awesome song the song that fucking gets played every second once the song goes pop they have these like neon yellow swords and they're fighting each other i mean you know showing all this cleavage and showing their ass and stuff i mean awesome stuff you know if i was a producer i really think they could have just kicked off havana brown and just had the girls dancing without her i mean the bitch really couldn't sing i'm sorry havana brown like did you guys hear her voice that's been your edition of box talk this week i'll see you guys in the next episode don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel